Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking the hardest, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins are the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings in a one feet one trying to see who wins. And UFC. Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Real Sociedad nil, Manchester United won, and I can't help but come away from that game feeling rather disappointed. All right, all right, all right. So last video I came out said 50-something percent of people nope. who have been watching the videos are not subscribed, and now it has risen to 63.2%. What? That means only 36.8% of the people watching my videos are subscribed. What? Please, it's got to the point now. In the comment section below, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me why I am not able to captivate your minds. Subliminal messages. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, man. <laughs> Going into it, we always knew that away from home, this was going to be a tough fixture. They came out aggressive, Sociedad, looking to dominate possession of the ball early on, possibly pushing for that goal that would have made the task even more tedious. We definitely grew into the encounter with us, having a few nice counter-attacking opportunities leading up to the goal, which eventually came from Alejandro Garnacho. Congratulations to him. First and foremost, let me say that. Ronaldo with the perfectly weighted assist and then the three quality touches leading to the ball, beating the keeper. Great counter-attack, great finish, and it was exactly what we needed in the 17th minute. Started from De Gea at the back, ended with a goal. I don't need to say anything else. Now, second half, I think the quality that had been built up slowly diminished as time went on. Not sure if that coincided with the urgency rising as we had to go for that second goal. There may have been a bit of frustration setting in. Also with the amount of theatrics the Sociedad players were using in order to stop our momentum and slow down the game overall. We just couldn't find that moment of quality and we brought on Rashford, McTominay, Fred, <laughs> Maguire. He was slotted up front late on but it it just wasn't to be. Overall, disappointed, but we have no time to drown in sorrows in the end of the day. We've just got to accept our fate and live up to the next challenge. I think disappointed is the main thing, CM, man. You can't fault the player's effort today. They just lack the extra bit of sauce needed to complete the dish. Instead, we'll have to do the dishes with whoever will face from the Champions League. <laughs> What's your words? I, I'm there? being serious. In, in the most respectful way possible, we're going to have to do the dishes. Rather than completing the dish, being the head chef, we're going to have to be the guy that's in the back doing the dishes, keeping everything rolling. Towards the end, it looked like the decisions, foul calls, time wasting... And the lack of quality on our side got to us. Uh, I saw a stat regarding the time wasted and all that, which said the ball had only been in play for 55 minutes and 37 seconds of a 90 minute game. Plus wow. added time, what is that? 95, whatever. Just under 26 minutes in the second half. It's, it's crazy, but look, with all that being said, we needed a bit more composure on the ball. And I think for the most part, especially in that second half, we were nowhere near having that control and patience that was required. I do want to give credit because uh, I think for the most part, we were able to break down the majority of the opposition's attacks barring that double save from David De Gea in the first half, I believe. 
That was a really good save. <laughs> the last shot just came off his head. So a bit of luck mixed in with a bit of brilliance. Quick updates though. Alessandro Martinez will be suspended for the first, the first leg of the knockout tie. Due to being booked tonight, it, it was a frustrating booking within itself. Some may have argued it was a good challenge, but the follow through was what got the booking in the end of the day, which is something we're seeing more and more in the modern day of football, protecting the players. You know how that goes. Um, the draw will be on Monday the 7th, the 7th of November this month. So be sure to look out for that. It's the next Monday coming. Where Manchester United could go up against, and, and uh, listen to this saying, could go up against either Ajax, Barcelona, Bayer Leverkusen, FC Salzburg, Juventus, Sevilla, Shakhtar Donetsk, or Sporting. Let us know in the comments who you would like to face. There's a few people coming down from the Champions League that could add to a, a, a spicy two games, two added games that I think going into this one we didn't want but now we have to face it next up aston villa the return of unai and marie hopefully it can be a good evening by the time the game is done the kickoff is at 2 p.m on sunday so look out for that one the united twins will be back after that game but it's time to respond and channel all that anger and frustration positively by getting the result like i said on sunday at 2 p.m Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for, for reaching the end of this video. Slap a... Hmm. Slap the eyes emoji in the comments to indicate that you've reached the end of the video. And then we'll know who the real ones are. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. But be sure to drop a like if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe to CM22ENT if you're new. Share it to your friends, your family, and your frenemies. Everybody is important in growing this community. Be sure to follow over on Twitch at CM22ENT, where CM be doing gaming streams, football watch alongs from time to time, NBA chillathons, wrestling chillathons coming this Saturday. WWE Crown Jewel, if it's not called off, because um, there is a little bit of controversy going yeah. on over there, but if it's not called off, 4 p.m. I believe the watch along will be over on Twitch. Be sure to follow on all socials, mostly Twitter and TikTok at CM22ENT. <laughs> and large up all of the 22s in the Discord. Be sure to hit the link in the description and become just the newest member of the growing community. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here once again. We'll be back after the Aston Villa game on Sunday. But until then, we'll see you lot sooner! Time to go back here!